when he saw the guy with a cigar, I never saw the, a happier Rob White like, in my life. You smoke whatever you want. <laughs> I was like, what? whatever I want? And he was like, get my cutter. <laughs> if you do get laid and you're a comedian, it's never somebody that saw your show and was like, your comedy was so good. I'm well, so thing. wet. Every time a hot chick comes over to us after the show, it's the hottest girl in the fucking room. Yeah. And they always go, oh my God, you were so funny. And my boyfriend Brian thought so too. Brian, who's the guy? And I'm like, and I'm looking at Brian going, you couldn't be hunting this weekend. <laughs> like, what the best happened? morning was after the Katie incident. Oh. I'm, I'm walking out to my car. Get to this. Yeah, and he he's on the, uh, you know, you guys are on the second floor. Oh, that's right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I was too, but I was on the other, other end. You guys did that end. You get you gentlemen room together, and I was alone in that room. So I came down. I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm lugging my, on a hangover, oh, dragging my gigantic saw. suitcase to my car. So I was dragging it there, and then I see Joe on the balcony. Smoking and he, a joint. He comes out, he lights up a joint, and he goes, Yo, Terry! And I look up, <laughs> my swollen eyes, he goes, Do I have a story for you? <laughs> <laughs> and the story, the story, what happened and the story is, was here's quite what entertaining. We What's up, everybody? It's Millennial Stoner. I, I, I just, I this, this may work out. I don't fucking know. Millennial Stoner live from the live from. Well, not live. We're not live. Oh no, no. you're fucking up the intro, Rob. <laughs> Sorry. That's why you have your show and I have mine. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm kidding. I love you. Um, welcome to Millennial Stoner. We just literally did an episode of uh, Who the Fuck Is Rob White and a uh, dude who me and Rob both, Rob started with, and I, he basically gave me a lot of the early advice and started me on the road. <laughs> Terry McNeely's here, and we're having too much, too good of a time, so we're doing a fucking episode right now. <laughs> <coughs> having too good of a time because I haven't seen a you. A satellite come. podcast. So real quick, I just want to say I haven't. We haven't been in the room, the three of us, hey, together in a little bit. So slauncha. it's good to fucking slauncha. Slauncha. So we were trying to talk about this on the air, but I realized on your show. But I'm going to get to it now. Uh -oh. I haven't. The three of us haven't been in the room like all together at once since we uh, since my fucking story in, in Bristol about that girl that I fucking. <laughs> Katie, the notorious Katie. Dude, it was such a fucking surreal experience to do well, what? The road gig was fucking cool. No, no, the get, great, it was all, great. All of us on the road was a blast. That was so, one of the best. Yeah, oh, yeah, the one upstate was after Katie. That was after Katie. Yeah, yeah. it was. We yeah. did Moriarty's. And then in Yonkers, we Yonkers. And then we went up, then to, we went up to, to, to the old schoolhouse in... Downsville. 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 How could you forget Downsville? It's one Downsville. of the best names for a town ever. Yeah, and the, the, the reason why we even did that show is every time me and uh, Billy and uh, Joe and Fat Jay would drive away from the castle in Walden, I would drove through this town, and the whole town said, fuck Joe Biden. Yeah. Joe Biden's not the president. We used to call that Terry stuff. Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, and I, 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 every time I would drive by, I went, ah! I gotta do a show at this place. I, every time we drive through, I remember driving through with Billy one time to go meet you up there, and I was just like, if Terry fails, if Tommy doesn't work out for him, he'd just become mayor of this town. Like, I feel like, yeah, yeah. like, they'll I fucking could, love it. I have a good chance of winning. Yeah, exactly. He just, you know, just kick, put his feet up on the counter of one of the many depleted houses that are up there. <laughs> Yo, upstate is blown out. It's weird, right? <laughs> It's great, but it's weird. Yeah, it's always like have a, a lot of fun up there. It's like a post-apocalyptic. Like it used to be cool in like 1930. Absolutely, to 1940s. man. You know what I noticed that about 15 <laughs> years ago, my ex had a house in Hensonville. Where's where, Hensonville? Uh, right, right by Wyndham. Okay. So oh, we, we, I she that. got me. Into, yeah. This is up. She got me into snowboarding. Yeah. Wyndham. Upstate New York. Not. It was like kind of close to Hunter, but really close to Wyndham. She got a house in, in Hensonville, and we would go up there. You know, and snowboard for two, three days, smoke some weed, watch Family Guy. You know, yeah, you know, yeah. For, two, for two, three nights in a row, it was great. It's cool, but it's got, like, you can see the towns. I mean, it's beautiful. What's the foliage is. <laughs> the foliage is so nice up here. <laughs> yeah. What are they called? Oh, someone called the leaf peepers. Yeah, the leaf yeah, peepers. Yeah. The, leaf, the, leaf peepers. the leaf peepers yes. are coming you through. You can't possibly get a room in this hotel between September and December. The oh, leaf yeah, peepers. The, everybody upstate. goes up there to be in the wilderness. Oh, look at those leaves. I love those. Yeah, yeah. They're nice uh, and red. That one's yellow and orange and red. And if you drive out in fucking Yapank, you can see the same colors. But yeah, let's, well, let's drive four hours away. <laughs> oh, why is that guy lighting his bar on fire? Oh, that's right, because he, he got a deal in Pensacola. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. It's already off the rails, but it's great. <laughs> what? So Go we, ahead. We, we, no, we, we... The story of Bristol? Derailed... 
No, it's fine. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. Story no, yeah, no, we still have to do that story. Media, you met a nice lady. Yes, not a nice lady. After our was, show. I mean, she was nice. We Joe had a wonderful show at the Comedy Works in It was Bristol. Comedy Works. It was a great show. You murdered. It was nice. Thank you. I, Joe I, I, was you. very You're close to it. having carnal knowledge with a lovely young, lovely oh. young woman. Oh, God, it was, was great. Gonna, <laughs> he's going to bed down this fair maiden. Oh, I didn't. She came up to me. We That's found it. her in a bar where they allow smoking indoors. It's called Sparky's. But it's called Sparky's. It's in uh, Bucks County. Pennsylvania. Be called the American I mean, dream. everybody was smoking cigarettes in there, so we were like, very happy. And then Rob got elated when he glanced across the bar and saw this large black gentleman with a giant stogie in his mouth, and he went, "You can also <laughs> smoke was fucking that the first cigars." Time, was that the first in there? time he went to that bar? Yeah, dude. I remember walking I in. I love and it. You and I were just like, yeah. You and I were we were happy to smoke cigarettes, but he <laughs> saw us on the table. He saw a cigar, a guy with a cigar. And he went, "I'm in heaven." <laughs> because that's unheard of. A bar where you can have cigars. Ah. So cigarettes, you, you know, cigarettes. Ah. Yeah, cigarettes. Some places, cigarettes, that happens yeah. in Indiana. In but parts they, of they Illinois, won't let you smoke cigars areas, inside. Nobody lets you smoke cigars Nobody. Inside. When he saw the guy with a cigar, I never saw the, a, a happier Rob White like, in my life. You smoke whatever you want. <laughs> I was like, whatever I want. And he was like, get my cutter. <laughs> I remember you were drinking. <laughs> I remember I'm like, what are you drinking tonight? He's like, oh, I'm not going to drink any whiskey. I'm going to take it easy tonight. And you drink like 10 Rolling Rocks. Oh, yes. like, <laughs> I was the well, designated driver. Pennsylvania, when in Rome. <laughs> if, if you know, listen, if you know anything about the road with Terry, it's, 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 it's a lot. It's a lot. And uh, <laughs> yeah, you can't get a little too uh, fucked up on the loopy juice because uh, the loopy you, juice. Yeah, yeah. Why do you talk juice. like a 1930s cop? I know, because <laughs> Terry, I was driving home. I have an old cop. I'm car. in a French connection, see? see? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm driving my old like like police fucking cruiser home. Yeah, that's right. You got the Terry, best car. That's right. He Terry's did drive that night. Car. He's laying like out of the fucking window, like ah. Yes, yes. That, that's you, that, that's a notorious thing. Uh, are you throwing up? If you drive me home from a bar on the road. You will most likely need a car wash the next day because I lay my head out the back on my car. and I puke in the last 25% of your quarter panel. <laughs> he, I was there's, like, there's are you a, throwing there's up? Decorations of vomit. And Sometimes it's just maybe, dry Maybe heaps. hints of uh, mozzarella sticks. Well, that's like, what I, I don't. Eat. I don't know. Sometimes it's just dry up. heave, though. You sometimes you like, like But sometimes so... this mo mo mozzarella stick particles. <laughs> never seen you eat anything else. <laughs> no, I've never no. seen you eat anything else. I've never seen you eat anything else. Anything, he, anything else. He does the aqua therapy back at the hotel room where he lays in the shower. In the shower, and I like, steam uh, the booze out of my pores with the hot water. Like what's that movie where she lays at the bottom of the shower after? Oh, uh, never mind. It's the terrible. accused. I don't yeah. know. She's like she's <laughs> laying there in the shower. Terry's just in a fetal position. Oh, the crying game. The yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> And I am in the Next fetal, the road, no, I am I'm in the fetal position just like the crying game. I'm playing that theme under the fucking door next time. <laughs> just ever so slightly. I don't want to, I don't want to fucking start under the like. door. No, don't do it. You'll make me laugh and then I'll throw up in the drain. <laughs> I'll, I'll clog up the drain with mozzarella stick. That's puke. the game that you can't. That's the game we play now when you're hungover. Every time you, Terry's hungover. My favorite part of being on the road. With Terry. Breakfast. Breakfast. He loves because watching me be tortured. Because but you're but you're, you're still you, but you're just like you're, I'm a I'm a much quieter me. We were like sitting next to Billy. <laughs> well, first things first, when you find Terry in the morning, he's sitting in his car and his eyes are swollen shut like an Asian gentleman that's been crying for yeah. too long. Okay. <laughs> he looked like he listened to a I look emo, like Stephen Baldwin of his wife just gave like, him two black eyes. Like this. And like, I'm like are you are you okay? What are you listening to Fallout Boy? <laughs> and, and crying and That's what you said to me one day, right? Fucking Who said that head. to me? It was Rob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then and then he finally. He, he goes, around. What's wrong with your eyes? I go, I'm hungover. He goes, Oh, I thought you were crying. Listen to Fallout Boy pussy. <laughs> <laughs> In there, in there listening to Evo. Yeah, because you're sitting in the front of your, found you in the morning and you're in front of your car like an astronaut. Just like, we thought you slept in your fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> like, the best happened? morning was after the Katie incident. Oh. I'm, I'm walking out to my car. Get to this. Yeah, and he he's on the uh, you know you guys are on the second floor. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I was too, but I was on the other other end. You guys did that end. The corner, yeah. You 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 get you gentlemen room together, and I was alone in that room. So I came down. I'm, I'm like you know I'm, I'm lugging my uh, on a hangover, oh, dragging my gigantic saw. suitcase to my car because yeah. even though we're away for two days, I have 19 outfits in there. I I, I dress like Diana Ross on tour. I have to have like options. Like I, I have to have options like George Costanza. You do. You do have them like I have a for giant days, suitcase. So I was dragging it there, and then I see Joe on the balcony. Smoking a he joint. Comes out, he lights up a joint. And he goes, "Yo, 
Terry. And I look up, my swollen eyes, he goes, do I have a story for you? <laughs> and the story, because, and the story, well, what and the story is, was here's quite what entertaining. We, we go to the bar. <laughs> you know what, but the funny part is, I saw that girl when we went in. She said something weird when we went in. She looks very fit. She yeah, was cute. No, she was. She was, yeah, she like, was, like, a, she was like a gym uh, chick. Like she was hot for hippie, finding out. She was like a hot milk. Older hippie gym chick. Yeah, she yeah, had yeah. Like, yeah, like, like she I was, remember she was wearing purple, something purple, yeah, right? Yeah, she had like a purple whatever, like, like kind of like. Half shirt. Yeah, half shirt, whatever. She's like, like from the kind flash of, dance. She's the kind of girl that you find on page 12 when you type in hot milfs in a porn hub. <laughs> page 12. And like, <laughs> that, it's that far in. Page 12. That's but like, you know what I mean? Knows. You're still like, I'll jerk off to this. Like, <laughs> But she was hot, and like, and she did. I, I tell it in the bit that I do. She came up to me. I didn't. She just came up to me and started being like, "I like your yeah. flannel. You're hot." And I'm like, yeah, "I don't." You have no game. I don't. You, you were standing by yourself. I think I was bullshitting with him. Yeah. And he had, he had a stogie, and I, I, I had my cigarette. Me. I saw you pointed me. <laughs> and then you would like kind of like like lean against the wall. I think you had the, like the one foot up on the wall. I was sitting on the fucking stool. Like you were like you saw you were fucking my legs. in like yeah. uh, in like. Uh, she what, what attacked they, uh, you. She I was like, oh, attacked. does he <laughs> know her? Because he started grinding on you like a, like a stripper that just Yeah, got... she came up body to body, and she's like, what's going on? Like, you're, yeah. at, a, you're at a bachelor party, and your buddy, she's like, yeah. go, go give my yeah. buddy a good time. Good, good yeah. time. And she came up, and she was like, kneading your balls. And yeah. I was like, oh, I'm going to walk away. <laughs> yeah. She I'm came up to me and she was like, "What's up?" Kneading you wanna... your balls. Was she Amish? Was yeah, she like she was she was Amish. It looked like, painful. She was just churning like, butter. Do you like that? <laughs> you let me use my kneecap in there. And I was like, oh, "I'm gonna walk away." You did. I saw you walk because I was sitting next to you and you just were like, "What a good friend." You're like, "Bye." I, I, yeah, I, like, th I, I think like her on you embarrassed yeah. him. Like he, he, he was like, "Ah, oh, we had to fuck out of it." I didn't want even for pheromones to get on me. <laughs> then when I get home, my wife's gonna be like, "You smell like pussy." You smell like a slut. <laughs> Where's there smell, sluts you, there? And I'm like, you, "There were no you sluts." You smell like a Bucks County whore. That's Joe Wendell's <laughs> skanks, not my skanks. I don't do that. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> I did. I walked away. Exactly <laughs> Stay away from me, beast. I watch nothing She's of you. She's talking to me. And I'm, because I'm drunk as shit. I drank like fucking 10, 12 Miller Beers. Highlights. Oh, yeah. And I was You're drinking the shots. whole show, and then we went to the bar. Yeah. And when, uh, that, that's the mentality when I'm like, I'll drink beer. And we were in that bar a good hour and a half before she came over and like we were the body chilling. raped you. We were you. bullshitting, smoking cigarettes. Yeah. We were having a grand old time. We didn't even talk to we anybody. We were so happy that he, that he could smoke a cigar. We could smoke cigarettes. We were riffing. We were like, we never have to go outside. It's yeah, fucking we were amazing. riffing, making jokes. We talked about playing pool, but never did it. Like, yeah. like and we were right in front of the pool table. Yeah. No, 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 one was there. no one ever racked it up. <laughs> no one we just, we were just smoking. <laughs> Such a good time. We were so happy inside. smoking. <laughs> Uh, really, that's what it was. It was like motherfucker. No one ever had the tenacity to grab six corners and rack them up. No. We were like, Wait, Wait, we... Joe was over there. She was over there fucking she molesting you. No, she did molest me. It was great. And, and then how did that? I think she was cupping his nuts too. She did. Like, she cut my nuts. Yeah. I remember that. And I was like, and it was as I'm like, I'm like, what, what happened? Like, what, what do you, what do you want to do about this? And she goes, we shouldn't have sex. I'm like, it's an option. We can do that. Like, that's fun. Like, and, and then she was like, all right, let's go back to your fucking place. And I go, and that's what, and I was so drunk. I was like, yes. And then I saw you guys and I go, hey, this is the part I haven't forgot how to work into my joke, but I went to you and you and I go, I'm going to go have sex with this girl. Uh, my phone's, I left my phone in the room. I don't have my fucking wallet on me. I'll talk to you guys later. And I said. <laughs> and you go, what? I said, don't go anywhere if you don't have your phone on you. Like, go, Bye. I wanted to be able to track your body in, 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 case, was, she, in case she sold you to Tunisia. He was concerned. In, in, in an oil tanker. What did you tell me? <laughs> did you tell me when you were driving back, <clears throat> Terry said like, I hope he's not missing a kidney right now. <laughs> yeah, in, in a bathtub full of ice with shit. Your kidney sliced out. For what it's worth, worth, I'm like, that happens. <laughs> for what it's worth, you can It happens in Corum. You say what you say about Uncle Terry, but he actually he cares. genuinely loves. I care Terry. about the lives of my of my uh, yeah, my I colleagues. Don't, I don't want this guy to be missing an organ in the oh, morning. I met his, mo I met his mother. Yeah, like, <laughs> if he's, on if, me, if he's missing know? kidneys, he's gonna fuck up my breakfast at Cracker Barrel. And I was <laughs> It was the story. Oh, I put the eggs down. Oh, my friend has no kidneys. It Let's go. Scariest... All right, Rob, you talked me into it. She... Let's go to the hospital and see this guy. She Fuck, goes... you know how good the bacon is, though? <laughs> she goes, bacon right swear now. to God, she goes, that's, remember I told you the whole thing when I was like, oh, I'm at the Red Roof Inn? And she's like, I know the Red Roof Inn. And then she sells a guy a bag of meth in front of me. And I go, this is fine. Whoa, I'm going to be okay. She sold no, no, no. a guy a bag of meth I don't know what it was. No, no. I don't know what it was. But she said to you, Joe says, 
Uh, it was the Red Roof Inn we were staying at. Joe goes, Red Roof Inn. She goes, where are you staying? And he goes, the Red Roof Inn, do you know it? And she goes, of course I know it. I'm a drug dealer. She does it. She goes, and at that moment, and then he was like, some dude knocks uh, on her window and okay. goes, yo, what's up, Katie? Let me get a bag. I'm like, oh, shit. And I'm and like, did they did the exchange? It was, but it was like one of those things where it was like super on the down low, and I'm like, this might be heroin. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there was a moment where I'm like, heroin. do I really? Which makes wanna... it much better than meth. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then, but then there was a moment in my my system when we were driving. I'm like, is she gonna ask me to do heroin tonight? And I'm like, all right, just say no to heroin, but keep having sex with well, her. Well, at least if well, well heroin, heroin is hard to get a hard on. So at least you, you fuck her first, yeah. and then you do the heroin. Oh my god. They're listening to white. It was the scariest car ride car ride of yeah. <laughs> No, it was like, I was like Hunter S. Like White fucking rabbit. Raul Duke and like. Like, White Rabbit. Yeah. White Rabbit. <laughs> she was driving. <laughs> she was driving so fast. Like, in, like in, in, when I think of the story, I remember being like surprised. I'm like, I can't believe the cop showed up. Did you, have, you have, you were holding the holy shit bar? Dude, the, the joke the is, I'm, I was doing this. I was like holding on to her table and I'm like, she's like, you're so hot. And I'm like, ha it's so good. I can't wait to have sex Oh no, but she you. was jacking you up also she was, as yeah, you were driving. Yeah, she had my hand. She had like my dick out. She was a like, very yeah. unsafe driver. She was jacking him off. Terrible. She was speeding. She was like, <laughs> not looking at the road. Her, her, her driver's ed teacher would be very disappointed <laughs> in terrible. his actions. Like not looking at the road. You drive stick? Well, I do right now. <laughs> <laughs> about a car, but tonight it's sick shift, Joe. Not looking at the road at all. Swear to God, not looking at the road. It was, I thought I was like, I'm going to die. I'm not even with Terry McNeely right now. <laughs> I'm not even with, they're going to have to tell my mother. One, because they're going to have to. They're gonna, like, Robin, like, if I died at that moment and had, like, there's a moment yeah, that I don't get to be at. We'd have to show up to the Terry wake. and Rob have to come together and be like, what the fuck do we We'd have to show up to the wake as, as gentlemen, and then we'd run into her, his mom and go, I gotta be honest. Uh, I always thought he'd die with me. <laughs> <laughs> not with not with a, a meth dealing Joe Bucks County. They have to go girl. to me like, what was his last moments like? It's like he was trying to get pussy. Like, <laughs> like that's <laughs> the pussy was so close, Miss Winchell. It was so close. <laughs> it was so close yet and, so far away. And on, and on the road, pussy always falls through. And Joe was trying to was trying to defunct that myth. <laughs> oh my God. Quite honestly, he died like a hero. Oh, the like, whole way. I would put him up there with like like the 9 11 yes. victims. You no know? comics get pussy on the road, and Winchell was trying to defy that. Closest ever. He was defying he, all the odds. Yeah. Joe Winchell was like lone survivor, okay? <laughs> It was just him and a bunch of Hodgies, and he was trying to get that pussy, and them Hodgies. He was like MacGyver. He had a credit card and a, and a, and a thimble and a paper clip. <laughs> <laughs> her, credit, her credit card, by the way. Best, best podcast ever. Oh, none of this can go out. No, um, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm using all of this. Oh, stop it. I'm using all this for me? evidence. Like, <laughs> what do we do? Like, present your mom with like a folded cock. That was like, can I just... <laughs> a folded cock. Your son, your son died a true soldier. It's just a flyer. American patriot. <laughs> it's just a flyer that's folded up from the Walton show. Like, <laughs> it's, a, it's a comedy flyer. <laughs> The uh, menu from Georgines. I thought about it. The menu from Georgines in Bristol. I thought about it hard. There was a moment where I'm like, this lady's gonna crash and I'm gonna die. Because it was like, when, I, like, thinking about it, I remember being like surprised the cop showed up. And now that I think about like how she was driving so erratically, I'm like, I'm surprised we didn't get pulled over right then and there. Yeah. Because at least I got pulled over when they, when they looked at me and said, do you have a room here? And I go, yeah. Well, fast, <laughs> like, yeah, I fast do. forward to that point. So a lot of people don't understand. At least you had that card key as Joe, evidence. Oh, yeah. Joe was in the car. He had the pussy on lock. I thought they were going to be like... He was going to the Red Roof Inn. Yeah. He, okay, he walked the in there Roof with Inn. her card. Well, yeah. that's, that's where we're at. Then he came out. I paid, she paid for the room. So yeah, he I gets was like... The, hold on, narrative. He, so he now drop the, the punchline. Remember, I don't remember now, I told you, I now, didn't have my wallet. So you get to the Red Roof and Inn. And your cell phone. I didn't have my wallet. You get to the Red Roof Inn. You but do I had not the room have key. your wallet. That's what it was. I had the room he key. He had the room key from your room. The room that you guys were sharing. I had the room key my license on me. But like, been hilarious. But not money or anything. If I came out and you were just fucking and you were like, go back to the bathroom, shit again. Like, oh, I'm all right, all right, I guess so. Yeah, so I get the room, but she's being arrested. You went and got a second room yeah. at the hotel. He got, out room. of respect he, for he, you. He, yeah. So I literally continuity. turned to her and been like, I don't I don't think my, 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 my roommate Rob's going to be too keen on seeing my dick tonight. Do you want to get, no, and I don't sure. have any money. I mean, I've left my... My, 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 my wallet in my room and he's probably sleeping. Do you mind paying for it? I'm such a scumbag. Like, <laughs> I'm such a scumbag now that I'm saying this out loud. I was so drunk. And she goes, yeah. You say she's scumbag, being... we say in ingenuity. Ingenuity. So, <laughs> but when I, the, you know what the crazy thing about it is? She didn't, she didn't get popped for drugs. 
And she told me she was like, she oh, got popped license? for the driver. There was a suspended license. Oh, okay. They ran her wait, place. Wait, wait, so, 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 hold, uh, on. All right. hold on. They left the people, car there. All the drugs were in the car. They didn't seize your you car. Are, hold on. People don't know. We should have broken into the you're, car. You're, anyway. You're, yeah. you're, you pull into Sold the red roof in. <laughs> you, you are in the red roof in. You it have was the craziest girl. experience of my life. You're trying to fuck. You're trying not to fuck in front of me. So you go in and has get another. Her credit card. Her credit get, card. They, he gets another a third hotel room. room. A third room. A third room. Third room, right? And you guys. And, and, and you're all set, and you walk out with the room. It was the most defeating moment of And as of you walk life. up to the car, this lady is being... God, bent she, over in cuffs, she was being hot. clipped. She was hot. It was going to be so much fun. Being collared she really by a cop. Me. It was one of those things where she was like, I'm going to fuck you till I have to leave. So I'm a like, cop apparently yeah, pulled up we... right behind her car as Joe was walking in yep. with her credit card to get the room. Yep. He, he, you know, they have a thing where they digitally run they the plate quickly. It, yeah. Boom, suspended, suspended license. Got out of the car, bam, arrested. Couldn't believe it. And then, and then, and then Joe didn't have... Well, I was worried that they thought Joe, I was with a prostitute. Joe, yeah, Joe didn't have the wherewithal to go back to Rob's room, so he went to the room. <laughs> I went to the other room. And he just sat there alone. I, like, you, I, I don't know like, what to do. I was, I, was, <laughs> I was supposed to have a great pussy story, but now I don't. He comes into the room. I do have a great joke, though. I'm so, again, I'm so fucking drunk. He comes into like, the room. I feel like I, I'm like... Just coming Such out of the a shower, smile and I'm like, oh. yes, yeah, you did. Oh, like, oh, and immediately, my first thought was like, this guy, it comes so quick. He, <laughs> he is a two pump, two pump Johnny. Oh, really, <laughs> really, Joe? You're gonna dazzle this one with your amazing, and you just, Prowess. and then you were like, no, I didn't even get to that point, and I'm yeah. like. Let me put on some pants because yeah. this story involves <laughs> me putting on pants. <laughs> I sat, I me and Rob sat on the edge of each of the beds between each other, and I was like, I think I cracked the beer, and I was like, all right, so here's what happened. And I was like, and he goes, what the fuck? And I'm, I'm like, honored. yeah. And I'm in my room like this. <laughs> He's out now with any of this That's until the next so morning when I, I saw you. I saw you in the morning, and I go, McNeely. Dude, I'm I have like, a story for you, bro. I am, I am, I, I guess this is such a You're like, good, I'm glad you're not dead. <laughs> such a good, silly story. I've never been... As you say during your joke, I've never been cop blocked before. That was Terry. Uh, Terry, Terry gave was me that. Cop blocked. Um, I've never been cock, cock blocked, but I've been cop, cop blocked. Cop blocked. I am. I'm so honored. To he be was first this person. close to getting laid, and a cop arrested. Couldn't believe it. The first person. His to hear concubine. That and to hear it and go, oh, oh, Joe Winchell's got a bit out of this. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. And what ties this all together, which makes this amazing right now, is the fact that you're going back to the scene of the crime, yes. Bristol, Ben Second Salem, time. and the bar where we met her. We got to. Because, <laughs> well, it's the only bar that let you smoke in, so I don't give a shit if he, how uncomfortable he is. I have to go back there and smoke. <laughs> I, what did I do wrong? <laughs> I did nothing wrong, though. You actually, like, you actually, right damn thing you actually did nothing wrong. <laughs> but I was like... I, I am praying <laughs> this Friday night that, that she walks in that bar. Imagine. Because you know what? she walks in that bar, and you she'll go, probably just go, all right, let's go continue what we... Yeah, but behind, on the side of the building, and no, let's not drive it anywhere. Joe. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you were a smart guy, just, just take her in the, in the men's room, <laughs> close the stall, and just get a, just get, get a BJ. I feel like if anybody who's like, oh, I need to take a shit, this motherfucker's in there, be like, let me tell you a story real quick, sir. <laughs> They'll be like, you know what? <laughs> You're right. I'm surprised when I walk back in there, they didn't point at me. But by right, he should not leave the premises with don't, her. Don't go. Once they go down that road, no. something like like unless it, you it's, want another. Once you go down that road, it, it's like it's like that. What is that? Final Destination. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's that movie. Honestly, all kinds of shit breaks. That's loose. what it felt like. I remember being like, <laughs> I'm gonna leave. Rob. I remember thinking, I'm like, please, I'm gonna leave Rob and Terry behind. They're probably being like, ah, oh, Winchell's so cool. And meanwhile, I'm like, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, and I'm not getting laid. To and Rob and Terry, I'm going to arrive back at the hotel and go back to their respective yeah, no. rooms and sleep like a baby as you're being Dude, murdered. I was going to wake up the next morning and be like, oh, what's up? And then that didn't happen. I, was, this, I had a big head about it. What's up, playa? This is what it's all about. Like, a lot of these young I'm so happy there, it happened to me. As terrified I, as I was in that moment, oh, she was driving. So scared. Oh, so I had nothing I could do. No, I'm like, I'm going to die. This all... All these young bucks out there, they're like, dude, I want to be a stand-up comic, too. <laughs> well, if you do, that's fine. But listen to Uncle Terry. He, he'll tell you a couple of road Every stories. Every single time some guy that's like 20 to 23 comes over and goes like, hey, man, how long have you been doing this? Like, I'll, you know, I'll be in McGuire's. And they go, how long have you been doing this? Like 16 years. So they go, uh, you have any advice? Like, you know, <laughs> and I go, what's yeah. Your, what's your honest answer to that? My That's honest answer is I, it's the same go-to I always do. Yeah. 
I said, if you hate money and pussy, it's the greatest job ever because you'll never see either one ever again. Literally what I felt. I started that. I'm like, <laughs> people are like, just get laid all the that time. Should be that. on like a inspirational quote. I, I, used, I used to literally say, if you're in a cover band and you do a sick drum solo, when you're loading your shit up in the fucking Ford Alkaline 250 shit van in the backyard, next back to the bar, next to the dumpster, yeah. some girl will come over and be like, you did a great cover of uh, Tom Sawyer. Because <laughs> you're a musician. <laughs> Musicians get calm and get pussy. Uh, Comedians. Almost never. Never. We get, good job tonight. Oh, you're so funny. An occasional waitress or whatever, once in a while bad. a civilian, but <laughs> it's very few and far between. There's never somebody that my, saw my, your comedy and was my, like, my, wow. Listen, over the 16 years, if you added up my batting average, I wouldn't even make the fucking farm team. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's not, if you I, I, I wouldn't make, I, I would, I'd be kicked out of Tidewater. <laughs> Tidewater. <laughs> Tidewater I wouldn't make the ducks. The ducks. <laughs> Uh, but you can't, but even, uh, but like, if you do get laid and you're a comedian, it's never somebody that saw your show and was like, your comedy was so good. I'm well, that's the so thing. wet. Every time a hot chick comes over to us after the show, it's the hottest girl in the fucking room. Yeah. And they always go, oh my God, you were so funny. And my boyfriend Brian thought so too. Brian, who's the guy? And I'm like, and I'm looking at Brian going, you couldn't be hunting this weekend. You had to be here to fuck this all up for us. <laughs> really? The hottest girl in the whole place, and you have to be here, Brian. <laughs> you couldn't be hunting, and she had one too many Bahama Mamas and made a bad decision. <laughs> oh my. Every fucking time, man. Bahama Every time. Mama. I love this. I do too. This, this what, should you be... said you wanted to do trash talk. Well, talk about it. No, we got, we got here's what I'm 10 saying. more minutes, so talk here's about it. Here's what I'm suggesting, folks. <clears throat> I'm suggesting that we do this uh, crew right here. Joe Winchell, Terry McNeely, myself, and then we add the fabulous, amazing, most uh, craziest guy we know, Mr. Billy Guy. Oh, he's pretty crazy. And if all four of us he's... sat down around a picnic table somewhere out in my backyard, that would be fun because uh, smoking cigars, this, drinking, uh, smoking this tattoo whiskey. shop is close to me, and so is your house. So I'm, I'm in. Do it here. We, we can do it here. We can drink. I'm in. I'm, I'm eight minutes away, Max. We can smoke heroin. We can do it all. Heroin. Yeah, smoke heroin. Yeah, I, I, no, I'm, 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 right. I see your wife's face. I'm not into heroin. Like, not. Uh, <laughs> no, like, not I, I, I always gave you Murray shit about that. I said, I never understood. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I never. <laughs> Hold on, we might need to edit that. I mean, it's Hugh, Hugh right now is like, don't out me. Hugh knows. Nice Hugh job. tells everybody his problems. He knows. But I always used to tell him on the we road. Used to do a thing or two. We used to bring him on the road, and like he would fall asleep like sporadically, like in the car. <sighs> and I'm like, and George, George is not. Privy, you, you do drugs George in a row with George. George Gallo clean. You're done. Yeah. You're out. How the fuck did He'll, you get it, along with George Gallo? Because I was clean the whole time. So he drank. So so <laughs> so. Listen, uh, Hugh Murray. Like, I was telling him all the time. I go, why don't you just do fun drugs or just drink? I go, fun what drugs. is with her heroin? This is heroin. You shoot it. I don't care how good you feel. Five minutes later, you're like this, and you're staring at the ceiling, pissing in your pants, and your dick is a piece of spaghetti. You can't do anything fun. Nothing fun. Nothing fun? Heroin is not fun. <laughs> if anything, do cocaine and let's, let you drink for four days straight. <laughs> and then you go home and go, who the fuck is this guy I took a selfie with at Tobin's? Drug advice with Uncle Terry. There you go. Hey, don't, heroin don't do is, heroin. Heroin is boring, ladies and gentlemen. Don't do it. Do anything else. But do... But you, <laughs> but you I'm so other. happy right now. I no, can't even. See, that's the thing. There, I'm so fucking happy. There, you know, there's, there's good drugs and there's bad drugs, right? Yeah, of course. Crack here's smells the, like burning plastic, so I don't care for that either. Y here's how you but figure it out right heroin now. Heroin is disgusting and it makes you sleepy. If, if you turn I don't want to be sleepy. I want to party. And you say good drugs, bad drugs, right? And here's how you figure it out, kids. If you're like, I don't kids. know, is it good or bad? I don't know. Say the drug and then say addict afterwards. Now, if you chuckle, then it's a good drug. If you're a little bit nervous, it's a bad drug. For example, like you say, uh, marijuana, marijuana addict. Now you laugh, <coughs> <coughs> marijuana addict. <coughs> That's not real. Oh, he's a mushrooms addict. He's a mushrooms addict. What is he? Super fucking Mario? There's, it's not real. But if you say unrealistic, if you say crack addict, you're like, oh, I feel that, like Whitney Houston a little bit. Like, yeah, yeah that, that's, that's an addict because right. well, they always say if, if you're never an addict unless you suck the dick for it. If you never heard of? I'm an LSD addict. Like, yeah, are you don't you, get a dick What for are you that. a fucking third level wizard? No one ever said. You never heard a guy go. I smoked a joint on Tuesday. 
And then I need another one on Thursday. And then I wanted a bag on Saturday. So I sucked the six dicks. Dude, no one's <laughs> ever sucked dick for marijuana. So keep smoking, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> good, good strain. <laughs> can I open my show? From now on, can it just be Terry be like, no one's ever sucked a fucking dick for marijuana. So keep smoking, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Terry McNeely. Here's Joe Winchell. <laughs> I, I, used this podca- I used to do this podcast years ago. Remember Dave Harris and Heather Height? Yeah, yeah, it was called it was called hate speech. hate speech, and they yeah. had my they had my voiceover of me in their in their intro of every episode, and it says it's me going, I say no to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how did you know? Maybe, maybe you guys should bring that back for the nostalgia purposes. Yeah, because I oh, that. I love that. It was great. In my head, I'm like, man, he they brought have... Angry Bob and me on together because he was the biggest oh. lib and I was the biggest Republican, that and we were just. Nuts. Oh, we would crack horns. Just go. Dude, I, I tattooed on that podcast. I tattooed, oh, oh, Heather's, I tattooed Heather's yes. back. Yes, oh, that's on right. She had, she, yeah. what, what she, had she had a lot of ink. Tattoo? I tattooed something. She on had a lot of back. ink. Yeah. Okay. On her little, and then I ta- and then I was on there, and uh, they had porn stars on there. They had, uh, they uh, were porn producers. Jesse Lee was on there. Yeah. Cool. They they Ooh. they eventually uh, they uh, she, she was she was a comedian, and then they dated, then he became a comedian. And then they did a multiple podcasts, and then they started producing porn. They were fucking, they were cool people. They were fun. <laughs> no, I, used to, I used to hang out with them at the Anthony Cumia compound all the time. Yeah, that, they, actually, they actually vouched me into the compound. They were but the ones. You know what would be nice if I can be on the Anthony Cumia podcast? Because that motherfucker has talked so much about me, and he doesn't even know who I am. Because, because of the Sopranos. The East, the East Side Dave tattoo. Yeah, but you know, that, confuses <laughs> that confuses everyone right now. We should edit that out. No, but because that's in your first episode. You're on my show. Well, maybe he can't do portraits, but he can do a fucking yeah, sick microphone. Just, yeah. I did that, Mike. I did that. I did that. <laughs> With shadowing. I have no shadowing on any of my shit, so I'm very, I'm very proud of the shadowing here. You have shadows. I'm going to show up and look, look at the shadowing. <laughs> Fucking this is about as much fun as no. I'm this is fun. Podcast. This was this was also this is going to come out as an episode of Millennial Stoner, but like cool. I've been but here's the thing. Finally, I've been waiting to be on your fucking show. You're always well, you, you have all these, the you're, you're on the road. road. All, you live on the road. No, I know, but you, you have all these fucking guys, and I see them on three times. Like oh, I thought we were tight. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, I thought we <laughs> but, were too, but, but apparently Terry, this is like, the yes. longest. This is the longest I've seen. Terry I'm doing Bonnie's podcast next Tuesday. And I, and I'm weird. I haven't done yours. Don't do I, that. Edit that out. I'm sorry. I've, <laughs> this is the longest I've seen Terry sit in a chair when I was smoking a fucking cigarette. I, 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 I'm so. pretty proud of myself. We're gonna do. Have we been doing what? Twenty six, three minutes. You right now. It's the longest. The trash can. So long as I have a It's a good idea. I'm, I'm calling it the trash well, Rob, can. Dude, Rob, I'll, I'll, I would love to do that with, this. Smoke, do that with the three of you guys. Maybe we do we're it like once a month. We do it like once a month. Because you're always fucking on the road. Especially, no, no, no. Not, if we do it during the week. No, but if we do it once a month, it's special. We can figure it out. Yeah, you know, we, can, we can maybe we have, work this into something. That we can truly trash people because, you know, once we're drinking and smoking, I think when me and you are a lot more comfortable. tomorrow. We should do it every Monday at like 2 p.m. <laughs> Isn't that a great time to get drunk? <laughs> Nobody needs to work. Fuck work. Craig. That's what I mean. What a Fuck bold Tuesday. thing. Tuesday. Works for squares. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, remember that when we were on the road? You were the road once, and uh, Joe was late. Like Joe. Oh, man, and I pulled up like fucking yeah, Mad yeah, Max. <laughs> yeah, Joe, Joe, Joe like. He drove pulled, like shit. Joe brother. pulled up and met me and me and Fat Jay like late or whatever. And I go, where the hell's Joe? He's like, oh, he, he's working. You know, that's I why. I had to work and pick up Andy. I picked up Andy. I think. Oh, I, 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 no, no, it was me. It was me and Guyer. Oh yeah. Me and Guyer both went. To, we said to Joe, "Have fun working for the man, you fucking sellout." Now I'm fucking unemployed. You, you, you enjoy <laughs> your day job working for the man. I always play into that. And I go, to you him, like, fucking sell out. I always go to him. I'm like, I do. It's great. Just I love having money and. Bandwidth. And now I live alone, so I have to work for the man as well. Yeah. Three days we're a gonna, week. We're gonna get Three days a week, climbing up, doing fucking siding and roofing and bullshit. We're doing like fake drunk right now, but we're gonna get real drunk. You've been talking about that. I, I at one point I pitched an idea to Rob, and I was like, what if we just do a show where it's called. Rob and Joe get drunk. And that, that's the whole fucking... No, I'm, I'm cool with that, but we have to have Terry. Yeah, no, I, I want to... Billy Geyer. I mean, I'm just going to say, out of all the well, people... Well, Billy doesn't you know, drink, but he'll get, no, he'll get but properly you know, stoned. But Billy used to... That's used when he to, takes over. He used when to everybody gets too drunk and Billy's party high. every day. I mean, we can, we can get Billy to, like... We can get him to the edge. I'm saying he'll, he'll smoke his brains out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't kill him. I mean, Billy... You <laughs> 
Oh, Billy, 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 you can't I drink. Billy love, used, I mean, Billy used to do heroin and work in a deli and steal Christmas decorations. It's all in his act. None of this needs to be yeah. edited out. No, like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's well documented. It's well right documented. Now. That's oh, why you don't need to worry about the Hugh Murray shit. He's he's on record with all this. He that's knows. how I met him. He was like, I'm yeah, Hugh he's Murray. a clean guy now. Yeah, but he talks guy. about it. He talks about like I talk about my exploits. Yeah, no, it's well, that's the you know that's that's what you get We're to be being a comedian. We're all fucked up individuals. Yes, we and are. That's what comedy is: a bunch of fucked up individuals trying to portray their their point of view. When you're honest yeah. with yourself, you can be honest with the crowd. Doctor McNeely. <laughs> <laughs> Till next. The week. more you know. And knowing's half the battle, G.I. Joe. <laughs> I'm going to end on that note. I, uh, I just had a fucking really good time tonight, man. I've been fucking busy. I just want to say I've been busy all fucking week, and I've been running around. I had my appendix taken fucking out. Thanks for texting me when that happened. Wow, really? Yeah. I have, a, I have three belly buttons. Oh, you have a Chris Baldessani scar now? Dude, I've got three, dude. It sucks. I that was a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Yeah, I saw a white and pink. I saw One the same thing. If you were a man, you'd come over and fuck it right now. <laughs> Nah, I'm not Look like at the that. ground. Look at the ground. Anyway. <laughs> I love you. Um, this has been so much fun. Uh, Terry, I love you. I'm going on the road with you this weekend. That'll be fun. Rob, say hi. Hi. Like, share, and subscribe, everybody. Everybody keeps like, sharing, and subscribing. I appreciate you guys. Uh, keep sharing everything, and we'll see you when the next episode comes out. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. The millennial stoner outro song. Yeah, pack a bowl and sing along. Blah, la, blah, la, blah, la, 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 la. Ba, ba, blue sheep. Ba, 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 ba. This is the favorite podcast of the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama's mother's name is Dalai Mama.